hey guys welcome back to my channel and here i am with some more business tips for you today we are talking about virtual offices and i'm going to give you five things that you need to watch out before you open or register with the company for virtual office location let's check it okay, out okay number one you want to make sure that the location is safe it's not sketchy um, maybe look at the information or the address on Google and try to do a zoom in, look at the street, look at the location around it, the block, because listen, when you are applying for credit or applying for anything, they are looking at that. They are looking at your location to see if you are a real company and where you do business, especially if you're having packages and things shipped that way. They want to make sure that the packaging will be secure and that there will not be any insurance claims on your packages so make sure that the location is very very safe and it's not sketchy it's not questionable it's good for you all right okay so number two you want to make sure that this office allows you the ability to upgrade any services like maybe getting admin, being able to have phone services, being able to rent out a room or a space for conference. Um, and then also maybe any other um, Wi-Fi services that they offer. So you want to make sure that it's a location that you can grow your business in. All right. Number three, be careful that i don't want you guys to get it confused about a virtual office and a virtual address that's two separate things most of the times the virtual addresses only offer mailing services and they will allow you to have like a box number be careful with that because a lot of companies that starts to go and build their business credit the vendors and the creditors they're able to check that and know that this company only offers you a box and they know that you're really not doing business there it's just a mailbox service for you a virtual office offers all those things that i pointed out in option two or tip number two okay so make sure you're not tricked out of the difference between address and office all right okay so number four I want to make sure that you guys know that there is way more options than the most popular that you see like your regions your alliance da vinci and opus they may be a little bit more pricier and may be somewhat out of your budget starting off so i want you to be open to looking around your community in the area that you want to do business in and see if there's any office buildings that offer you know virtual office space okay and it may be a lot more cheaper for you. Or if you have a, a friend or family member that has a business in a storefront, maybe they'll offer some space for you to do business as well. So try to map out your, your options before you dig in and be committed to a long-term deal with one of those larger virtual office firms, all right? Okay, and last but not least, number five. Guys, you have to know not to mix your address with your phone service, okay? Because anytime you need to change your address, they will disconnect your phone service with their cancellation of your address. And then now you don't have an, a phone and you have to start all over with the phone service. So separate that, have a different service for your phone and have a different service for your office space, all right? So those are the tips for me. This is Kina, and thank you for watching my channel. Subscribe, and make sure you like this video because it's a lot of people that needs this information, and YouTube allows other people to see it when more people like it. So make sure you subscribe because I will be coming back with more tips, updates, news on all business, taxes, and credit. See you soon. Bye-bye.